Rochester. Uh, we also got one in Wisconsin, one in uh, Newcastle, Delaware, one in North Carolina, and one in Idaho. All right, where, uh, we you're you're in Ohio, correct? Yeah. So where 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 would uh where where would we uh come up to for orientation? Uh, generally, it's going to be where the the dispatchers are running you out of it, whether East Coast or West Coast. Uh, in your case, you're probably looking at East Coast, so we would take you up to our Farmington Terminal. That's our uh, home one there, uh, where they, they sort of give you a rundown of everything going on. We set up hotel and transportation for you. Okay, so, uh, you, make sure you're so, you, so you will set up uh, transportation and hotel for us. Uh, as, far as, yep, uh, as far as transportation goes, that'll be uh, by way of a uh, rental car or train, airplane. So there's, there's three different ways we generally go. Either we can get you an airplane ticket or a bus ticket. Uh, we'll pay for that stuff up front. If you want to rent a car and get there, uh, we won't pay for that up front. you got to rent the car. But when you get there, you give us the receipt from it, we'll reimburse you for it. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Mm-hmm, All, right. Mm-hmm. All right. So as far as orientation goes, uh, for pre-employment, uh, for pre-employment, what is it? for the drug testing so, is it uh urine or hair follicles or both no it's urine urine test so what they'll do is the first day one of the things they do is send you over to get a new physical and a drug test at the same time uh we pay for everything of course even if we, uh, already, then we also do, even if we already have our dot card yep we want you to go through both one of our doctors as well as be able to line up the date and need your new one with your higher date that way we can send you back uh, and have an easy record of that when it comes time. All right. Now, let me ask you this question. Now, just to come in, just to go through your doctors, uh, but once uh, once I have to renew it, I can just go back to my doctor to renew it, or do you want us to go back to your doctor? We'll, we'll keep sending the people on our network. Now, there may be someone closer by to you that we can set it up with. We got a, a bunch of different people around the country we work with on this stuff. Uh, the big one that comes to mind is Concentra. There are a lot of centers that we uh, work with for physicals. Okay, because I I, I personally have my own uh, DLT doctor that I usually see every year, so that's why I was asking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Yeah, we want you to go through one of the people we know, and just because unfortunately there there's some doctors out there who are just uh, full baloney and pass anyone. That's understandable. Not saying your doctor. Yeah, there's just some out there where uh, I've seen some guys come in, and I'm like, holy cow, how did you pass anything? <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad, know? Some, I'm, I'm glad somebody pointed that out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. So can you tell me? Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about the company and what you guys have to offer? Yeah. So we actually started out originally as a fleet maintenance company. Uh, so working on the trucks for other fleets uh, up in that New York spot. And in 2008, when the financial crisis hit, uh, there was a company we were leasing out a building to who uh, was transportation, a freight moving fleet uh, that went under. And we decided at that point, we know well enough the business and we got enough people involved uh, that we decided to start doing it on our own. So our origins were actually taking care of trucks for other people. Uh, that runs still for us under the name Johnson Equipment. Uh, Leonard's Express is the move inside of it. So uh, we got a good team there to take care and keep up with the truck. Mm-hmm. Um, we've expanded to about five terminals now. And I think at last count, we have somebody between 600 and 650 drivers uh, across the U.S. that work with us. So we're not huge, but we're not small either. We got some off. Uh, particular for you, what will be of interest, in your area in Ohio, there's probably one or two different things we can do for you. So we're always looking for people who are willing to do over the road work. Uh, depends what part of the country you're in as far as what we can do. Uh, but I very rarely had any problem with people looking to 15 to 21 days out at a time and over when it's less than that. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, I sort of got to ask the more particular what we got going on in your area to make sure that we can do that before I would promise you something like that. Now, because a lot, just of, for, a lot of, a lot of companies and a lot of drivers out here, you know, majority mm-hmm. of them, I would say 
I would say maybe about 75% of them. And I guess I'm in that 75 percentile, uh, you know, over the road is, <laughs> you know, staying out 15, yeah. you know, staying out 15 days and only being home for a day or two, you know, it's, you know, especially at my age and at my experience is kind of, you know, it's kind of like, maybe no, I feel you. <laughs> you know what I'm some, saying? Some guys love it. Others hate it, you know, now, just so you're, you know what you would be getting as far as home time uh, involved with that. Our guys who are doing 15 to 20 days out at a time, uh, we're giving them four days home time between runs. So you're not just getting your 34 hour when you're doing out that much. Um, but the other thing that I want to tell you that I know I got going on in your area, um, I have to double check on this. So the company originally started doing like a regional run out of New York. Uh, have that home office up there by uh, Rochester, and those guys are doing uh, three runs a week from there to places in Ohio, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, areas like that. Oh, uh, what they're doing, the idea is they're leaving. Right. Well, let me just finish because oh, go it, it's going to modify based on where you're at. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, those guys are basically leaving Monday morning getting back Friday evening. Now we all know sometimes things happen, but that's how we have it planned out. And they're getting $500 per round. So you're looking at three rounds per week, $1,500 a week. I recently was looking at someone in New Jersey, excuse me. And I asked them, is it possible to do it on the reverse end? So instead of taking people out of New York, running them down those three areas, take them from one of the end points, and running them back around those areas and getting back to there on time. And they said yes to New Jersey. I never asked them about anywhere in Ohio, uh, but I see that there would probably be a distinct possibility I could. So that would be one thing I'd check on. Hmm. All right, all right. Um, how, much is, uh, how much experience do, you, uh, do your company require? So in order for you to come into orientation, finish up orientation, and have at least six months class A experience. Right. For people who have less than that, we do have trainers we hook people up with uh, to get them up to an amount of experience where we feel good with putting them on the road. And what that tends to look like is, say you have no experience whatsoever, uh, we want to hook you up with a trainer for a period of eight weeks. Say you have half that experience, three months, you're looking around four weeks. So that's how they handle that. While you're doing that, uh, they want you to, <clears throat> excuse me, they have you uh, basically making a hundred dollars a day while you're doing training. Uh, and then they also, if you had just finished school, paid anything for it, owed anything for it. Uh, as long as you're working with us, they put 47 extra dollars per week in your paycheck until we either pay off what you paid slash O or hit the $10,000 mark, which, really isn't realistic because not many schools I've ever heard are, are that expensive, you know? Right. And I, I, I keep hearing, you know, especially I'm in, I'm in a Facebook group and I, I keep hearing everybody keeps saying, well, you know, schools are from 7000 to $10,000. I have yet to come across any schools and I mean, any schools that's costing that much. I mean, I yeah. say when I came, yeah. you know, when I came in six years ago, I, I paid 50, mm-hmm. I, I paid 5400 you know so i would yeah. say anywhere anywhere between anywhere between the low end of 3 <clears throat> the low end of 3 to the high end of 6 at least but 10 yeah though, I, I can imagine there 10 i, I yeah think, i can I, imagine that oh, go ahead there's probably some schools which are on that higher end and then maybe put people up for housing too that's the only thing I can imagine. Otherwise, people are just getting raked over the coals. You I, I know, can't, I can't see that. Even even for housing, ten thousand dollars. Ten yeah. ten yeah, thousand ten thousand dollars for 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 three weeks. Three, you know, at, at least that's what their that's what their uh their ad says. <laughs> you know, for three weeks of schooling, and and we all know. I mean, you know, what well, at least you know the 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 more experienced guys you know come to know. That mm-hmm. that the schools only teach you just to get your license. They don't teach you to properly yep. drive. So for ten mm-hmm. for exactly. ten thousand dollars, I don't know. Yep. I, I I don't know. Yeah. That's just that's, hey, you know. I'm sure you're aware as me. 
everything has angles to it, you know? Mm-hmm. Everybody's trying to get something somewhere for free. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's out there. There's some school that's got like a market that really can't get out of there, and they're just charging the head over heels for bs you know you know you you know to be honest with you i think i, I think uh uh companies that are schools that's charging that much are companies that's 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 sponsoring them you know companies like yeah, it might or, be. you know like warner and yeah. other companies like that i i think those are the ones we'll charge you that, that much then you charging, owe us or you right. can't leave them right mm-hmm. right that's yeah. that's what i think um all right so along with experience so what's the so uh for a driver with that amount of experience versus a driver with my experience six years how much is the pay is it is it uh cpm or is it percentage well it all depends what you're doing so uh if you're doing something like uh one of those over the road things they do it by the mile and what you're looking at then is depending how long you're out what your record is um, violations you may have had, uh, work history, they, they, they don't have a set one. So, uh, we, when we have people come fresh out of driving, uh, training with us, we start them at 40 cents a mile for a 90 day probationary period. Mm -hmm. Then after that 90 days, we bump them up to 48 cents a mile. And by the six month mark, we bump them up to 50 cents a mile. So, you're looking at somewhere starting generally between 50 cents a mile and I'd say 53, uh, depending on your experience. If, if you're not going through that training thing, okay. um, there are exceptions we make, but we, we got to look at it on a case for by case basis. So I don't want to be giving you a rate essentially without knowing what you're capable of and what your history is. Now, if you're looking at that regional one, which I was talking about originally, they pay that one by the round. So that one, they're looking to do three rounds a week. They're paying you straight $500 per round. So there, right. there's different ways to do with different runs. I, I'm in the Delaware terminal. So my guys there, they price everything out by the route because I'm sending those guys into like New York city, uh, Philly places like that. And it don't make sense paying them by the mile for that. So, uh, we kind of have areas there set up as well as, uh, we got similar fleet set up in Southern California that are over the road and other drivers don't have to go into those spots where it don't make sense paying people that way, you know? Okay. That's what's up. Um, mm-hmm. all right. So we already talked about, ouch, we already talked about the home time and, the, and, and, uh, what you guys can offer. Um, mm-hmm. let's jump to the trucks. Uh, what, what equipment I'll be running and what's, and what are they governing that? Okay. So, uh, let me get that governed and the, the camera thing out of the way first. Mm-hmm. So they're governed at either 65 or 68, and you got it on cruise. Uh, they do have inward and outward facing cameras, and those systems work by when there's an incident. It'll set off the camera. It'll send us the, like the eight seconds before and 12 seconds after or something about that, that uh, for that particular incident. And if they need to go around and see more on that, uh, they will to, to figure out the situation. It's not one of those things where we're constantly looking in on the cameras just to check up on you. Honestly, uh, if we have you driving for us, we trust that you're a good driver. Unless there's some reason for us to look at it, we're not there to harass you, you know? Um, the trucks themselves, anyone who's in one of those non-local jobs like that, that regional rounds or over the road, you're looking at a vehicle that is in its first three years of life. So we buy them new, use them for three years. At the end of that three-year mark, uh, we'll look at the ones phasing out, and the better ones we'll send to a local office where it's easier if something happens to them to go out and get them. Uh, the others will sell off. So right now we got 2021 through 2018, and we're kind of having an issue with getting in the new 2021s. Uh, just the, the production shortages and all that stuff is playing hell on everything. So you're looking at a majority of Freightliner Cascadias and KWs. Um, The 2021s through 2019s, all of those have APUs, inverters, fridges, and satellite radio in them. The 2018, which we're trying to phase out right now, are kind of hit and miss. Some of them have some things, some of them have the other. Uh, It's not an all thing, but again, those are being phased out. And it's easy enough for me to say to them, hey, 
I want to make sure that we got one with an APU inverter fridge uh, and hook uh, whoever I have coming on board up with that. They're okay with doing that. All right. All right. <clears throat> uh, is there extra pay for running the Northeast? Nope. Nope. Uh, it's same pay. Like I said, we're not sending in in New York City. Uh, we're avoiding some of that, those areas for you. They got also uh, local drivers who go up to Boston area who cover all, a lot of that stuff. Um, we do have drivers a lot of times who will go up with, say, uh, a couple trailers, drop them in a yard up there. And then the guys who do the local stuff up in there go into actually Boston itself and do those deliveries. So it's not like you're having to go to the, uh, that spot, even if you're going to that area. Um, yeah, yeah, you kind of can specify what you're looking for, and we have enough reach that say, hey, I don't want to drive the Northeast, but I want to do, say, 15 to 21 at a time. Uh, usually that's not a problem. I always make sure and double check that we can use someone for that spot, uh, but I get all kinds of requests. Like, I don't want to drive Florida. I don't want to drive west of the Rockies, you know, and right. uh, we check on it and let you know what we can do. All right, all right. Um, all right. So if you can, um, let me see, I guess, I guess we can apply for the company off, off the website. The the website is yeah, Leonard, yeah. Leonard Express, right? Yeah. I can send you a link right after we're done to, uh, the direct part of the page for you through a text message to make it easy. I appreciate it. Uh, is there a sign on bonus? Yep. So anyone who hasn't gone through that portion and accepts that is eligible right now for a two thousand dollar sign-on bonus and they pay that out by giving you a 500 after your first load and then they do 500 increments 30 60 and 90 days after that okay that's what's up that's what's up all right um now, do you do... Other... Oh, go ahead just one other thing for you they do do bonuses quarterly too for our guys so they got two separate bonuses. One is a that fuel efficiency bonus. Uh, they give you a chart that when you're going through orientation to show what they're looking for, and that can range from two hundred and fifty to a thousand dollars. They also do a safety bonus. So on that one, uh, the company's really good in my opinion on like focusing on what they want. So they do half a cent per mile on that, and they pay it out quarterly. And if you get all four quarters of the year. They pay all four of those out the second time at the end of the year. And because, like I said, they're trying to get it long term, they want people driving forever without an incident. Uh, once you get three years in a row where you've run clean, at that point, they start paying you $1,000 per year in a row you've run clean. So uh, this past year, I literally had six or seven guys who were at year seven and eight. They got an extra seven, eight grand at the end of the year just for that safety bonus. All right, all right. Well, thank you very much, man. Um, do you guys? Do you, all right. So you know, we we spoke about you know schools earlier in our conversation. Do you guys mm -hmm. do do you guys help drivers get their CDLs or no? Yeah, we have our own school that's located next to our home terminal there in Farmington. It's called Canadagua Driving School. Uh, what they do is uh, bring people on board. Uh, take them through the program. I mean, they got a, a truck simulator up there and everything. Uh, one of these days, they're going to let me get in there and virtually crash a truck, I think. Uh, but <laughs> they, they take people through, and then they get first spot with our trainers when they come out. Now, just because you're asking me, and I know you got six years experience, I kind of got a feeling that it's someone else you know uh, who you're familiar with, who's thinking about doing something like that. Am I right? Exactly. I got, uh, I have a yeah. network, I have a network of drivers that I network with in, uh, in a Facebook group. Uh, let me, uh, let me, let me, uh, tell you the Facebook group. Hold on right quick. Uh, it's okay. I'm not on Facebook. I got off of there because it seemed like a horrible place. <laughs> I, you, you know what, man? I mean, it's, it is so crazy that everybody is not doing Facebook now. They, they, they all, mm -hmm. over, they all over on TikTok now, bro. <laughs> yeah, but, I see that. I, my one, my one dispatcher, well, I'm, I'm trying to work there in the day, nine or 10 times a day, I'll send it over a TikTok video. I'm like, 
the hell are you I, doing, man? <laughs> I know, right? You it's know, they, they all they all over on TikTok now. But uh, the Facebook group that mm-hmm. uh, you know that I that I'm in is called CDL Truck Careers. Uh, me, okay. uh, me and another, uh, me and another driver, we run it, but we also network with a lot of drivers and, you know, we come, you know, we talk about trucks and trucking and stuff like that. And of course your, yeah, like you know, of course, you know, Leonard's came up and, you know, they mm-hmm. was like, they was like, well, maybe we could, you know, see what they got to offer. Now, again, when, yeah. when it was brought over to, when it was brought to my attention, I'm over here like, man, this is a Northeast company, man. I'm not trying to drive nothing out of the Northeast, man. Mm-hmm. But uh, but but the conversation oh, that we I, take. Oh, go ahead. We take people from all over at this point, just because our footprint's so wide. I I would have called you before when you had that uh message first thing, but there's a guy we're bringing out of Texas to our New York mm-hmm. uh for facility for orientation this week, and his travel plans were all screwed up so i was running around at the oh, last no, minute but my point that's understandable i, I appreciate, yeah, yeah. I, I appreciate Texas, you Utah. reaching out mm-hmm. now so one other thing if you come on board and bring other people on board with you uh we're grateful that we give incentives to our drivers for recruiting people uh right now what they're doing with that is two thousand dollars if you bring someone else on board the same as your bonus for signing up 500 on their first load 30, 60, 90. And then if it ends up being someone you're a trainer for and you want to be in our trainer program, uh, what they do actually for those trainers is they bump up the rate on the cents per mile uh, for the over the road guy. Uh, and also you're looking at a hundred dollars per day. you got a trainee with you. So uh, we, a lot of times had father, sons, brothers, uh, just friends. Uh, if you got to be with us for a little time to, us get a feel for you we don't want to put someone as a trainer without knowing what they're like uh but as as long as you want to do that you can be looking at a lot of extra money each year you know just from that training stuff all right that's what's up man well hey thank you very much bro i really do appreciate it i would definitely take this information good information uh back over mm-hmm. with me and i would uh i will share it uh i will share it in my yep. facebook group and in my social media and uh hopefully uh hopefully you know hopefully it'll it'll turn out something good for you guys yeah yeah you or anyone on there got any questions just throw them my way I'm never never uh upset to answer a question i appreciate it man i appreciate your time thank you very much hey you too sean have a good weekend man you too now bye